So hello everyone, it's Willow Hall Burrows here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a head collar like this one. So it's really easy to make and it's basically the first thing I've ever made properly for my bro that isn't just you know something to play with, something that actually looks fairly realistic. So anyway, what you're going to need is you're going to need a glue gun. You can use PVA but it takes so long to dry that it's not really worth it. I think you'd probably be better off sewing it if you don't have a glue gun. So yeah, you'll want to get that heating up while you get ready. And you're also going to need jump rings. Um, I think these are about 6mm? Yeah, I think they're 6mm glue rings. Glue rings? Jump rings and 5mm ribbon. And you're also going to need a paper clip and some needle nosed pliers to make the buckle. And you'll also need a pair of scissors for cutting the ribbon. So, firstly, I'm going to be making the buckle, if I can prop my phone up somewhere. Okay, you're casually leaning up on the horse. Stand there. Right, there we are. So, I'm going to just unwind this. Then you just need to clamp it just about the size of the hole so you want to make. Head collar, buckle, I don't know what I'm talking about. Want to make giving a little bit sticking out so you don't so the ribbon doesn't just slip off the middle all the time and then just wrap it round like so and then you can just wiggle it off and then just use the cutty bit in your pliers to just trim off all the extra. The next thing you're going to need to do is cut your ribbon to size. So you're going to need several different lengths, which I'll discuss with you in a moment, but basically. You just need to hold it round and then, you know, find the length you need for each piece. And then give yourself maybe about a centimetre of seam allowance, for lack of something better to call it, that you fold over and glue onto the glue. So here I've laid out all the piece, all the cut pieces I'm going to use in round about the place they'll be when they're on the horse. Just so I know, you know, which piece is which. So what pieces you need are... You're going to need a piece to go over the nose piece on either side like that, two pieces that go under the nose and join to the jump ring there, a piece that goes under the chin, um, a piece that joins the under the chin one to the buckle, and then the long, oh wait, no, that's the one that joins it to the buckle, and then the long piece that goes over the head and threads through the buckle. So it's also it's always helpful to have quite a long end here because it means you know the longer the end is the easier it is to put thread it through the buckle. But if you find the end is too long and it's not as realistic, then you can just trim a bit off. But it's always easier to make it longer first and then cut off what you don't need afterwards. So when your glue gun is fully heated up, you can start with the first piece. I always like to start with the bit that goes over the nose just because I find it easiest. But you don't have to. So you get your glue gun. Now first you poke your jump ring over the end of the ribbon like that and then you get your glue gun trying not to knock over things put your phone on and then squeeze out a little tiny bit of glue don't need much and then quick as you can before it dries fold it over and stick it down i try not to get any on your fingers but i have i do all the time and it's not as hot as they always say it is then you just need to repeat that for the other side Just fix the camera and you have your first piece glued, voila. Now at this point I always like to check it actually fits the horse and just, just pop it on outside the camera and yep that looks like quite a good fit. So then you're going to get your the pieces that go under his nose like this and you basically you need to make it inside out so that you can get to all your, get to all your um, joins easier. So poke it through, dab of glue, fold over and stick it down. I've gone out of camera, there we go. Then this also has another jump ring, which goes on the bottom. stick that. Ok 
Okay, so next thing you're going to need to do. Oh, well, I've already stuck the other piece on. I stuck it on the wrong way around. But I'm going to fix that in a second. So basically, yeah, you stick your final chin piece on. So you make like a ring. And then you get your cheek piece and stick a jump ring onto the end of that. And then you just go to one of the side rings, not the bottom ring, but one of the side rings. And making sure you get it on the right way around, because remember you're making the whole thing inside out, so all the joins are on the inside when you're finished. And just thread it through the hole. And then dab glue. And pull it over. And don't worry if you end up with loads of glue all around the place right now, because, you know, as you can see, it's very messy. When you get to the end, you can just get a pair of scissors and cut off all the excess. So, as you can see here, I stuck the other cheek piece on, and I've also stuck on the under chin bit, which will, when it's pulled up properly, look something like this, but probably not at all like that, because the other side is hanging all over the place. So, now I'm going to attach a little bit on here for the buckles to attach to um, but I'm going to do that on the wrong side which is the right side because then when you turn it inside out it'll be the right way around and now for the final piece of the head collar which is the under strap under chin strap I don't know what it's technically called but we'll go with that so as you can see it's just going to be attached to the jump ring here at the bottom and then um, it's going to be folded over here and then glued down now you need to have a little bit of room there so this can move about a bit, so that way it doesn't have to be right in the middle, you can just adjust it when it's on the horse, which is more real. Yeah, I'm sorry I cut myself off a bit on the last video, but I'll just move on. So anyway, you're going to put a little dab of glue, then fold over, making sure you've got lots of room for wiggling. So now I've trimmed off all the extra glue and turned it the right way around, and now this is the finished head collar. So I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial and please comment below if there's any more you'd like. Thank you!